what do you think the most overlooked position is in cybersecurity? Let's talk about GRC, governance, risk, and compliance. I know, everybody wants to be a penetration tester. Everybody wants to be a SOC analyst and save the day. Let's talk about security auditing. Fortunately and unfortunately, at the same time, one of the biggest drivers for information security is compliance. Fortunately, compliance forces companies and organizations to comply with certain standards around frameworks. Unfortunately, these companies are spending money only because of compliance. Compliance absolutely does not equal security, but it is still the reason that companies are spending proactive money to protect their digital assets. There's various types of security frameworks, ISO, NIST frameworks. Today, we're going to talk about PCI, which is one that I've been working in and out of for years. PCI stands for payment card industry, meaning credit cards. The PCI framework was set in place to protect consumers like us from having our credit card information go into the wrong hands and used and sold to other people for them to use our credit cards. They're developed and managed by the PCI Security Standards Council. Any business, any business that takes a certain amount of credit cards has to comply to PCI standards. There's four levels of standards of merchants which are determined by the amount of credit card transactions they're taking per year. Today, I'm just gonna talk about level one merchants. Level one merchants processing over 6 million transactions each year must have a report on compliance signed off from a PCI QSA, which is someone who is a certified auditor from the PCI Council. These reports have over 300 security requirements that have to be met by the business. At a high level, they include 12 major requirements, things like firewalls, passwords, encryptions, antivirus, physical protection requirements, vulnerability scans, penetration testing, it goes on and on. A third party QSA is the only person that can sign off on this rock report on compliance for the business. QSAs are in extremely high demand. They don't have to be super technical, but they must know how to use the resources to gather documentation and evidence that the company is meeting standards. Many organizations that I've worked with over the years do not understand PCI security requ requirements. It's the QSA's job to explain the requirements as effectively as possible to the business. However, oftentimes there are PCI gap assessments conducted prior to an actual QSA doing their rock assessment. This assessment can be done by anyone who understands the PCI requirements and is, and is able to help the business understand how well their infrastructure aligns with being compliant. It costs much less to have the business work with someone doing a gap assessment than someone uh, such as a QSA to come in and do the actual assessment. They wanna be prepared before that assessment comes. It doesn't cost a penny to learn these requirements. By becoming a SME, a subject matter expert in PCI, you can help companies align their security posture with the PCI framework. It's the same thing with other frameworks. You don't have to be certified. You don't have to be super technical but you can help these companies by understanding these controls, by communicating with them and helping them align their security posture with the frameworks that they have to be compliant to. In later videos, we're gonna talk about other frameworks, but for now, take a look at PCI. It's everywhere you swipe credit cards, they have to be absolutely compliant. Take a look at it. It's so overlooked. Don't forget to subscribe. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care.